what? You can't keep up with world affairs in a coma? Thank you, Dill. Four years ago, the Soviets invaded Afghanistan. The Muslims are fighting back with Western support. What's the, it's the K thing? I can't remember. Was training oh, the Majin. It's not K, it's M. Mujahideen. Oh, no, with the Kurds? The Kurds, that's it. Troop strength somewhere around 100,000. Squad holding Miller set off near the Pakistan border yesterday. Now in three days they'll reach the Soviet garrison. They'll be interrogated for a few more days, and it's off to a logger. Or left to rot in a ditch on Afghan soil. I give him two weeks. Oh, we're gonna get our own horse. Hey there, Tater. Tater's the streamer, guys. Tater got affiliated on the same day as me, so we're affiliate buddies. Spare did it the day before. Mel did it, I think, the day after. Very cool. Like a combo. Well, there's our ride. It's a whaling ship. Had a pretty good deal on her once the IWC started raising us. Tater, thank you again so much last, for last night. It's just a, a calming place to be. Won't have much time once we're there. Don't take too long getting used to your new self. Hang on. We gotta deal with this missing arm. Taters are really, really positive, like just like a I guess basically just a quirky weirdo like me, because I don't think she'll take offense to that. So yeah, Tater's a quirky weirdo like me, super nice. Um, plays stuff like Skyrim, Fallout, and it's basically just like um, just like hanging out with your friends and just like eating snacks and and watching you know, like a, a game get played in front of you. Like it's like fun college living room, you know, but with all the buds and we're like aging and dying. <laughs> Hooray forever! So we're leaving Cyprus. I don't know a lot about cyprus um the middle east knowledge i know i learned from crusader king so it's kind of embarrassing oh i guess i did go to school but america doesn't super do a great job this is our training montage so i'm just glad the game's working i um i tried one day 27 minutes and the game just kept crashing um I recorded past that point, and now here we are, it's working, so I'm just very grateful. I'm not good at stealth games. Oh yeah, we'll get Dill Philly, don't you worry. Dill is gonna stream one game sometime, just so she has something to show up when we shout her out. Oh, did you guys have Walkmans and stuff back in the day? I need to hear about some, some classic music here. Like, I had my... What's it called? Like, the CD player. The Walkman? I had a Walkman. And I burned that thing out on the bus. Every day. I My dad had just, like, one of those albums of classic rock CDs. You know what I mean? That's that APC from earlier. Walkman cassette player. What else was there? Um, what's that? The, the iPhone that's not an iPhone. You know what I'm talking about? Like, it starts with a V or something. It was like a better iPhone that didn't like. Not an iPhone. Sorry, the iPod. What is it? No, not the iPod. Sorry, it's the other iPod. It was like a V or something. Zoom. It might be Zoom. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, Zoom. Yeah, the Zoom, it, it held, like, crazy amount of songs. It was for, like, real people in the mute, like... The area ahead is under total Soviet control. Ooh, ooh. Drop my controller. We're fine. Miller's been captive for ten days. Not much time left. The weather will clear shortly. All right, we're, we're in the meet now. So we're seeing this dust storm right now. Those will happen throughout the game just organically. And it's very helpful for stealth. The meat. That was my first nickname up here in Pennsylvania. 
Mississippi meat. So that horn is shrapnel from the helicopter explosion. Getting used to it. Two live crew. After nine years on ice, I'm excited. A solo infiltration of the Soviet main ground forces. Should be the perfect warm up. Check out this future tech right here. Kazuhira Miller is being held in Darwin Dehar to the north. Check its location now. Take out your iDroid. Oh, wrong one. Okay, we're in. Wandy on the map. That's where they're keeping Miller. Only problem is we don't know his exact location. Finding it is your first priority. Got your binoculars, or should I say, your int scope? So, we were talking about it earlier, you can take your suppressors off. Yeah, binoculars, RP. Straight ahead, to the right. Alright, that's the village. If you see something through the binoculars and you need more information, just give me a call. I'll tell you anything I can about it. Oh, right. Yeah, so if you hold down the binoculars, like, say there's a patrol person or this glowing thing. That's Vialo Village. The Vialo Calais. The villagers fled the war and evacuated a while back. Since then, it's oh, become Bazinga. a base for the Soviet's 40th Army. A few days ago, Miller was taken through... Yeah, big boss is indeed a hot. You may be able to pick up the trail there. It's worth a shot. Put a marker on it so you don't lose track of where it is. Uh, I did that? Can make me do it again. Marker, 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 marker. Did I do it? We're good. Just let me free. I did it. Am I dumb? Come on. Marker, 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 Take a look through your binoculars. What do you want me to look at? I didn't pay attention for one second to read chat. What do you want from me? I swear I never had this problem. Marker, 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 marker. Uh. Oh, right. It's marker. it's do it now in the thing. My bad. Lost along the way. Take a look through your I'm an A to B yeah, person, I right? Left in him. I give him three days, tops. If we fail and he dies, we lose our chance of revenge. I swear this has never three. happened to me before. You just go charging into Doan Dehar, you'll be putting both your lives at risk. See what you can find out first. The Soviets have other outposts, not just the one you saw. Afghanistan is a big place. I expect you'll become quite familiar with those binoculars as you plan your next move. Not at all, I'm gonna run everywhere. How and where you make it. Well, that's up to you. From here on out, you're on your own. Bear, I'm looking forward to those White Castle burgers I picked up. You're a legend in the eyes of those who live on the battlefield. That's why you have to handle this mission yourself. Put those nine years behind you and return as Big Boss. Dill gives me this speech every time before I stream. I'll be sending additional intel by radio. Stay sharp. I mean, not one of Miller's bodyguards survived. I agree, John. And they were good. All we found on the scene were their corpses and these. You'll be missing them. And you're his only hope of getting them back. I'm excited. Now go! Let the legend come back to life. Oh, okay. Great. So, this is the fifth game, but it's the earliest short of Metal Gear. So, Metal Gear 1 and 2 take place later. 
So, like, think present time. They're basically, like, in the future, right? This is in the past. We're in the 70s. So, first, we're going to head over to the village and see what we can find out. It's up to you whether to slip by enemies or take them down. Just remember that any You can hang on the side of your horse like this. So, say there's a patrol or something. yourself with your weapons and items while you can. You need to be able to switch between them quickly to meet any threat. That guy's riding horses. Okay, so whenever you see these, like, you know, towers, there's definitely usually an encampment or something. So what I'm going to try to do is just gather some info. There's a Soviet guard post. How do I get off? They're bound to be guards. Take a look with your binoculars. Put the enemy in the center of your field of view. Sight. Sound. Keep all your enemy senses in mind. When you're near an enemy, stay low and move slowly. So I definitely need to take my time to check my corners. I see one so far. It's like a horror movie. If you see him behind me, let me know in chat. I'll definitely see it. So one down there. Huh? Thanks, guy. Gonna have a chat behind this rock. Talk. Ruski speak, please. Oh, I don't know Russian. Anybody know Russian? Don't understand what he said. I guess that makes sense. It looks like that horn stuck in. Don't leave bodies out in the open. Find some place to drop them out of sight. Sorry, didn't mean to um get rid of that dialogue, but basically he's saying that the horn in our head. Um, a portable toilet. There you go. Side, watch the enemy doesn't decide to use it. Same goes for hiding down so, enemies in it. Might just be these two people. So essentially you're saying the horn in our head is um keeping us from being able to like understand foreign languages and stuff. We might have been able to speak multiple languages, you know, essentially. Oh you know Russian, that's awesome. I'm gonna assume this guy's also Russian. Spit it out. Tell me. to interpret from that language for somebody else are two different things. Juggling languages at a rapid fire pace is more difficult than you might think. So, uh, in other words, while I do speak Russian, don't expect me to do your interpreting. Hey, Sane's officially an ocelot. So I want to see if we can put two people in? No. So it looks like that will only hold a maximum of one person. So. You can, um, call your horse to you. Uh, he's on a cliff, though, so... Whoa, whoa, whoa. Okay. Oh, goodness, I hit this tree. The horse is sometimes a little unwieldy. Oh, I don't, I don't know if you can pet the horse. I'll have to figure that out. You're almost at the enemy outpost, via low village. The village is crawling with enemy soldiers. Don't just go waltzing in. Start with some recon. Has anybody been to the Middle East? You have arrived at your destination. <laughs> oh, no. Sorry. Uh, it's Y to climb things. X is your um, di dive. So. so this is the town we're heading to. Horse. Uh, I'm going to leave the horse. We're going to go by foot. How about it? Can you see the village from there? Use the binoculars. Yes. Look at where the enemies like are stationed. Little, Look at their gear. Like Take man. it all in. There should be a command post somewhere. See any buildings with tighter security? If there are clues to Miller's whereabouts, I'll bet you can find them in there. But that on the roof there, that's like their comms radar. You can destroy different parts of different camps. So, like, if you were to destroy that, they're not going to be able to call in backup. We're just going to try to not get caught, yeah? Okay, I see one guy there. So when you guys play stealth games, do you uh, do you go for like perfect stealth? I find that I, I kind of have like a predator approach of like taking out guards that I need to to make it easier on myself. Oh COD, yep. Oh no problem. No, I appreciate you, Wiggly. We'll we'll play um we'll play COD with you sometime if you want. Um, let me swap guns. 
put my suppressor on. Okay, it's on. I just hate that this stuff is on screen. Okay, here we go. You can overhear conversations, for example, but again, the Russian, we're not going to understand it. Yeah, I'm just not patient enough, generally. So, I'm going to this building because it appears to be the biggest, most important building. Okay, one, two. So, for example, this would be a case where I'm like, oh, there's a guard, I'll just shoot him. And then the second guy walks up, you're caught. So, just be impatient instead. Oh, shit. Focus on a thread, and it'll be marked automatically. You can mark enemies and vehicles by zooming in with your binoculars or camera. Once they're marked, you'll also see their positions on the map. Don't worry, guys. So, you can throw magazines like that. I'll make noise, and I'm going to use that to distract them. Unless they don't care. Okay, we're good. I keep pressing the dive button. So, oh, the dungeon? You can collect cassettes. So I'm gonna climb up. Oh, that, that's a lot of noise. Okay, we're there, we good. Keep pressing the wrong button. Oh, your toothbrush. Oh, rip ads, rip ads. 